testing, testing, hello. Yes, we're connected. Hi, how are you doing? This week on Key Sessions, we have the heavily styled tones of Big Bear, a Liverpool two-piece with a crunch, and they're just behind me. Um, we've also got coming up the silky sounds of Clear Green. Don't go anywhere. Director, cut to those titles. You're still here. Very good. Okay, we're going to get right into it. Here's Big Bear with my revolvers made of salad. Good indeed. sucks. to stay. Well, there you have it. Probably your first dose of Big Bear, but I'm guessing it's not going to be your last. They're going to get some mic rooms on because I'm going to interview them in a second. But now we're going to send one of our own to uncover the ever-growing nightlife of Manchester. Hello. Do you want to get off that background noise? Yeah. Pause it. Hello. <laughs> Thank you. 
I, I'm Jamie um, and I, I partner with Nat, who is my business partner at Honeypot. Uh, I'm Nathaniel Dante, um, a kind of founder of Honeypot, a DJ at Honeypot and just making sure the events and bookings go smoothly as well. Well, I guess the beginning, I was thinking about this the other day actually, when like back at school and college and stuff, it used to be me and Jamie always used to throw parties. So we would always throw house parties um, in Easy Mall and stuff like that. So I think that kind of spawned our love for hosting and putting on events and stuff like that. Met at university and started a radio show. And we decided from there, right, well, we've got a bit of a following here. Why not try a, try a night out? So we hired out a uh, zombie shack for £25 each fee and um, that covered all promotion, all um, posters and venue hire. Uh, got a few mates just to put on um, an event, we couldn't DJ anywhere else so we got our own venue and played for ourselves. Now we, we, we started out doing very small venues and it was just inviting our, our friends and our, our acquaintances to, to a small club. And then that's when we kind of thought we could pick it up a little bit and get a bit more serious with it. Over a couple of months we decided to build it up and make bigger venues and now we're packing out 200 capacity venues, booking DJs that we really like. And again, we really wanted to create a feeling. Um, we tend to stray away from venues that have a stage. We want, them, we want us to be level with the, with the audience. So it really brings a community between the DJs and the, the punters themselves. So I do a DJ competition, um, trying to break, break our barriers because the first two events were primarily friends. Um, that worked really well. We had four DJs that none of us knew uh, that were active in Manchester that all brought people for the competition. Um, and that was kind of like the got the ball rolling, I think. It's about, the product, it's about enjoyment, um, it's about music, it's about reliability. I think that's something that we, we told ourselves on. So I think what, what Nightlife really brings is a synchronicity between people. We have a beat that everybody is joining in on and everyone hears. It's really, it's really a case of everyone desiring uh, cohesion. Make sure you support smaller venues. I know that there are, there are plenty of options in Manchester. There, there is a lot to choose from. Try your best to support new events and new, uh, new smaller event, co uh, event companies and, and, and whatnot. And make sure you make Manchester rave again. That's it. Thank you. Welcome back to the studio. Welcome, Big Bear. Thank you. Thank you. Let's start at the beginning. What's your names? I'm Joshua. Joshua. I'm Connor. Great, great sound, guys. Thank Loved you. it. Now, you're going to have to tell me the song title. Yes. Where does that come from? My Revolver's Made of Salad exactly. is, is a song name that we chose. We, we don't like having pretentious names that you're going to you look at later and think, why, why did I do that? You know, <laughs> I don't, you know. I used to, in fact, when I was younger, I used to write songs that were really bad. Like, one of them was called only tree. One was, well, one was literally called Within My Mind. Amazing. There was unbelievable. Yeah, it was 13 year old Josh. It was exactly Boone. that as well. <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to forget the title. Have you got any more titles like that? Uh, yeah. Uh, Lunar Powered Knees. <laughs> yeah. Uh, now Then. Uh, Peacock Walk. Peacock, Peacock Walk. Walk. Southern Discomfort. Um, oh, that's cool. That's the thing. Many, it's many. A thing. That's good, I like it. So yeah, we've got you, another album yet, so... You know, it's still going to be more. Any happen, suggestions, yeah. you know, we'll take <laughs> them. Just tweet you. Yeah, brilliant. Yeah, so, and you're based in Liverpool, yeah? Yeah. So kind of, it's a city of culture, like Echo and the Bunnymen, Zooton, the Beatles, you heard of them? Oh, well, yeah. twice. Yeah. <laughs> so a city of that kind of oh, arts hub. How has it inspired you? What have you been what up to? Where have you been going? Well, we've done a sure. mixture of doing the small stuff, playing the tiny bars, which gave us the option to almost use gigs as rehearsals, which meant we could do go up and jam and that was really, really 
useful. Mm -hmm. meant that we didn't have to do the whole getting in a sweaty, tiny room and forcing yourself to play. Yeah. Instead, and also you could we were so busy in the first few weeks as well that it was easier just to go and play gigs to rehearse than it, it was yeah. to organize ourselves. To but we've done big stuff since, uh, uh, since then. We played Blackpool. We, we, we did well, the Arts Club headline set. We've done a few in Liverpool. And we, yeah, made some context too. Johnny Sands. Is, okay. is a guy who does a lot of shows yeah. in Liverpool. He does a lot of shows in Liverpool. It's starting to, it's starting to grow. It's anyway, great. yeah. It's yeah. so. getting there. So I heard a bit of Muddy Waters, a bit of Pearl Jam, a bit of everything in there. Like, what's your main inspirations? I reckon Queens of the Stone Age is probably right at the top of the list for Josh us. Josh Homme, yeah. Yeah, all the way. Um, but they've got to have like black keys because, you know, two keys and that. And what's important to know about us is that we don't just go home and then blast Calvin Harris and pretend that we're blues plays in our free time. Like, we, <laughs> therapy for Josh is waking up and, and it's part of our routine just to wake up and just listen to really old, like, crackly radio blues because it makes you feel something and it, it just lasts that amount of time. So feeling that humbled from the beginning, seeing something so pure and simple and being able to almost emulate it with all this stuff and people still realize we're giving it everything and it doesn't matter if it, in what format it is, you can just go up and do it. We, right. That's what we listen to, the kind of music we listen to, it's mm. just, it would, it's, it's just there, it's, it's such a statement. It's rocks. But like in York, like where I'm from, there was no other blues players really. The only oh. other blues players are really old guys. And I, I stumbled across this little open mic, and it wasn't really open mic, it was just a bunch of old guys sat around playing blues. Yeah. And I thought, that's, that is so, that that is want, so yeah. cool. That's like, why is no one else doing this? You know, so I, I just jumped on a bit of middle class blues. You and, got straight and, in there. I yeah. heard you used to be a busker as well. You still yeah. do that, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I get around. What in, I heard you, you got mugged. I got mugged, yeah. By, by who? Uh, like my 25 Chavez, oh, like jump. <laughs> yeah. Oh, dear. Was, yeah, I made a mess of my face. But it's fine, I'm over that. I'm you now, got through it, that's I'm like, important. Yeah, Batman, and I've emerged a stronger man you're because back of it. And you're rocking up. Yeah. Well, that leads on to our next link very well, in fact. So thanks, guys. Um, Thank you. Thank you. We're going to go to a cutaway now, and in fact, it's about busking. So. Here's a shot about busking in Manchester. Bow, remember how this used to be. I just want to close When I started working in the city centre, so I actually got a job as a salesman over here. Uh, saw a lot of buskers, thought that looked like a good idea to give it a go. Started trying it and got a really good reception from it, so. But yeah, all right, then I'll do that. Let me hold you. Don't shrug your shoulders. Lay down beside me. Sure, I can't accept the way going nowhere. You've got to be hard skinned. Uh, you're going to get people who sort of like, some people try and make your life a little bit hard work. Uh, I've had someone try stealing from me as well whilst I'm playing. Um, which is a shame, but it, so you've got to be a bit tough skinned, ready for something to happen that you might not expect or want to happen. Nicest thing was a couple before I started playing a song that was their wedding song, their wedding first dance, and they started having a little dance while they were playing it. So that was nice. I really enjoyed that. Um, but I suppose, I don't know, another one was I was playing another song and a load of kids sort of like came around and started dancing as well. So that was really fun because all the parents were at the side clapping along and these little kids dancing. So uh, it's, every day is different. I can't say there's one particular experience that was the best because every time you just see this little pocket of enjoyment from the public, it, it, that's always the most enjoyable thing. Tonight, my last request and just let me hold you. Don't shrug your shoulders. Lay down beside me. Sure, I can't accept the wind going nowhere. But one last time, let's go there. Manchester is a music city, uh, especially for a lot of foreign people that come in. They talk, come around the corner, they always say, every corner you've got a busker, every corner there's music, and every direction it's different music. So it's always a nice vibe. And you know, like you'd, 
wash your dishes and play the radio all at the same time. It's nice to walk to work and hear different live music on your way to work. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad, but ah, such is life, you know? Tell me how can, how can this be wrong? Let my last request and just let me hold you. Don't shrug your shoulders. Lay down beside me. Sure, I can't accept that we're going nowhere. For one last time, let's go there. This is another little cheeky old trick. Um, like, it, you can't put all the change in your wallet because it just crams up like buggery. So I always bring a coffee pot and I actually uns unscrew that and just pour it on there. <laughs> and then, usually if I do a full day busking, I don't go home until that's full. And when that's full, I can go home. That's a good way of doing it for me. I believe the future always needs some planning, but not too much. Allow for a bit of spontaneity, so I might move abroad. I might go to tour Europe, busking around Europe just for the sake of it. I know some people that have done that uh, and just drive around. The possibilities are endless, you know, never restrict yourself to one idea, but always have an idea that you're chasing. So for now, just keep enjoying myself, keep playing the music and hope that one day something will work out. And if it doesn't, well, that's the life of a musician. Lay down beside me The beauty of it is, if you want to listen to any street music in Manchester, all you've got to do, get on a tram, get on a bus, bring some change, and don't be shy and show your support. Oh, now, we're back to Big Bear for the final performance of the evening. Um, it's another great song name, it's Peacock Walk!
this, guys. Take a breather, thank you. Oh, up next, we're going to go straight to Phil Donaldson for update on the local scene. It, yes, it's the music news. Hey guys, it's Phil with the music news. First up, festival lineups have been announced. Some big ones include Manchester's own Parklife Festival, where you can see the likes of Tyler the Creator, ASAP Rocky, Skepta, and Liam Gallagher. Lost Village Festival headlines Everything Everything, Friendly Fire, and Forte. Additionally, Norfolk's Horton Festival has Joy Orbison and Ben UFO. So get onto their websites to find out more and get those first release tickets. The 2018 Grammys happened at the end of January. Bruno Mars took home Album of the Year, Record of the Year and Song of the Year with 24 Karat Magic and the tune That's What I Like. Other notable mentions include Ed Sheeran's Shape of You, which took home Best Pop Solo, and Kendrick Lamar, who took home Best Rap Album with Damn and Best Rap Performance with the chart topper Humble. And finally, four-piece band Led Zeppelin have announced the release date for their first book. The suitably named Led Zeppelin will be a 368-page book which catalogues the life and times of the band on and off stage during their time touring worldwide. The official release date for that is marked as the 2nd of October. So that's all for now, Rich. Back to you. We've had a pretty rambunctious session this evening. I think it's time to bring the vibe back home with a more native flavour. It's Clear Green with Stargazed. Sure, 
you guys so much. If you like anything you've heard on the show today, you can find all our details online. We also have heaps of extra content, and that's on our YouTube page, Keys TV. So from us here at Media City, see you next time. Bye.